my love for racing started when I was really young. My dad's always been a race fan and car fan, so I grew up driving to school with him in an, a BMW E36 M3. So I grew to love the feeling of speed at a very young age. I also used to watch a lot of F1 with him. Um, and finally, when I got to sit in my first race car at the age of 14, it was a Ferrari Challenge, a 458 Challenge. I got taken by a pro driver around Circuit Montreux-Blanc, and it was life-changing to say the least. Uh, just the intense braking, the G-forces, I, I loved every moment of it, and that was the moment I decided I wanted to be a race car driver. And uh, where, where you started uh, in, uh, in racing, in uh, which category? So I started when I was 16 years old. Um, I started in regional racing around the U.S. Uh, my first race car was a 1991 Honda Civic, little EF, <laughs> it was a lot of fun. Um, and then that same year I ran the Canadian Touring Car Championship in uh, Mini Cooper. Okay, and then you switched uh, to GT4 uh, machinery recently, is that correct? Right? Yes, so I started racing GT4 in 2018, um, but we had driven uh, the BMW M235 the year before. I'm just very, very happy to be working with BMW. <laughs> and of course, last year you did GT4 America by SRO. Yes. Uh, with your own SR racing, which is uh, really, really cool. Tell us a, a little bit uh, the, the history behind the team. Yes, so ST Racing started back in 2016, kind of out of necessity. Um, we were renting cars from teams before, and you know, after our first race of the season that year, the uh, team unfortunately went bankrupt. Um, so we were left with the race car and we had to find a team. And so we we've contacted a few uh, Canadians that we have worked with before and the same people we're working with today. Um, we've definitely grown the team over the past few years and we've just been building up our credibility, you know, we're winning championships and I'm very, very proud of my team. And also you extended uh, uh, the team also to uh, the uh, GT World Challenge America this year. Yes. Uh, so the, the operation is growing and that's really exciting. And also this is your first, I think, international uh, season. Uh, how the idea of uh, the 24-hour series came up? Yeah, so I think my strength as a driver is my consistency. And I think that's very, very important in endurance racing. You know, it's not always about you know, being the fastest out there, it's about preserving the car, it's about the consistency. So we started to move towards endurance racing also because my ultimate goal is to be Le Mans, to be the first Asian woman to win Le Mans. So starting to do more endurance racing and yes, this is my first international series ever. I've only raced in the US and Canada. So, you know, starting off the year with two wins is a dream, it's surreal, and I'm very, very proud to be here. Talk a little bit more about the, uh, the win uh, at the Dubai, which was uh, you know, the, the first big victory, I think. Yes, uh, we actually we competed in the uh, Dubai 2020 race, which, as you know, it got rained out. But we were, you know, we were pole at the start of that race, and we were very, very confident that we were going to finish on the podium so to finish with a seventh place in class uh, after the rain and everything it was just very disheartening but we came back this year with a lot of determination to win and that's exactly what we did. Awesome. <laughs> and also the, the six hour uh, in Abu Dhabi victory there. Yes. Of course not, not a championship race but still building momentum for, uh, for this championship. Uh, is this your first time in, in, in Europe? Yes this is my all of the racetracks on this calendar this year, I've never been to any of them except for Dubai. So really big learning curve for me, but I, I think I can do it. <laughs> and uh, a couple of words about Mugello, of course. Uh, yes. Probably uh, your, your first time in Italy also. Uh, this is not my first time in Italy. Okay. I used to come here a lot when I was a kid. Um, so but just on vacation. <laughs> Uh, this is my first time at Mugello. It's a beautiful, beautiful track. As you can see, the mountains in the background and, you know, incredible high-speed corners, amazing flow. Definitely a beautiful track. <laughs> and uh, you, you also, of course, uh, the taking part in the year with your, uh, your team. Uh, how was the qualifying for, uh, for you guys? Uh, qualifying went really well. Uh, we were had to. We had some issues in practice. Uh, we had a shock, a front left shock that uh, was leaking. So we unfortunately only ran, I think, four laps. Um, but fixed the car. Car's good to go. John just went out and put the car in pole. So we're starting in first position and hopefully keep it for the race. Absolutely. Uh, final, final question. 
uh, your uh, how where do you see ST racing in uh, let's say five years time? Uh, hopefully winning many many more championships under our belt and hopefully at Le Mans. <laughs> oh. Hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> of course, Le Mans uh, in, in the couple of last years uh, there's been a lot of uh, very yes. talented female racers. Uh, Manuela Gosson, of course, uh, did a uh, top 10, so hopefully we will see you in, uh, in Le Mans very soon. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs>